After your class is created, you must activate your class. By activating your class, your students will be able to see it when they first log in. However, the only way it will let you activate is if you create an assignment first. So, let's create an assignment. Make sure you are logged into Study Island by going to studyisland.com and using the username and password you were issued by your administrator or the person who is in charge of Study Island at your school. Remember, your username is not your email address. Then, click on Class Manager. Once in Class Manager, click on the name of your class, which should take you to the Class Page and Assignments tab. On a side note, if you do not have a class created, please go back and watch the video on how to create your class before you watch this video. Click Add Assignment under Class Assignments, then choose the kind of assignment you'd like to add. For example, you can add a practice or instructional assignment, a writing assignment, or you can build a test. For today, I'm going to add a practice and instructional assignment. Click Create Assignment. Title your assignment appropriately, then choose the date you'd like your assignment to be assigned as well as the due date. If you'd like, add your instructions for students and then add any additional preferences you'd like. Then click Next Assignment Options. Under Assignment Options, select the program you'd like to pull your assignment from. Your options include the Michigan Glicks or the Common Core, all grades 3 through 5. Once you've selected a program, select your subject. Finally, select your topic or topics. View the lesson, questions, or standard covered by clicking on one of these three buttons on the right hand side. When you view the questions, it gives you the option to create a printable worksheet with a lot of features such as hiding the multiple choice, hiding the answer list, opening the questions in Microsoft Word to further edit, or printing the questions from Study Island. Once you've selected your topic, scroll to the bottom and click Next, Students. You can then click on your entire class, or you can expand your class and select just the students you want to work on this particular assignment. Then click Save and Exit. Once you click Save and Exit, it will take you back to the class page and assignments. The final step is to activate your class page. Click the button that says No next to Class Page Activated to switch it to Yes. Then check out the options it gives you. You are now ready to print your student usernames and passwords for them to log in to Study Island. See the next video, Printing Student Usernames and Passwords.